Okay, everything starts from the floor up. So from the floor, hamstring, glute, quad. Quarter turn, turn. Yeah. <clears throat> then you open up. <clears throat> you open up from the rear. Still flexing your hamstring and your glutes. Quarter turn to the right. Kai takes some time out of his contest preparations to instruct a young bodybuilder in the fine art of posing. What was initially supposed to be just a few pointers evolves into an unexpectedly painful and exhausting training session. Since the early days of his career, Kai Green has distinguished himself as an innovative poser. Combining fluid dance moves with a hip-hop sensibility, he has both fascinated and angered lovers of the sport to this day. But here today in Brooklyn, he is taking it all the way back to basics. Starting with a superset of straight leg deadlifts and an unusual use of the leg curl machine to target the glutes, Kai plunges his new protege into this specialized posing workout. Okay. With only a month to go before defending his crown at the 2010 Arnold Classic, Kai taking time and energy out of his daily schedule is quite a gift. A gift that I'm not sure this amateur bodybuilder is too grateful for at this moment. Oh. <laughs> Jason Myers is an economics student at the University of Pennsylvania. Though he grew up not far from Kai in New York City, his early life experiences with a warm and nurturing family couldn't have been more different. Still, he identifies strongly with Kai and is a fervent supporter. After winning the overall at the 2009 NPC Brooklyn Grand Prix, Jay went on to a disappointing placing at his next show. Knowing that he had to do something to up his game, he jumped at the chance to meet Kai and pick up some pointers. However, I get the feeling that this balls-to-the-wall training session was a little more than he bargained for. All right. I'd say that was scary at first, but then I understood, you know, what needed to be done. All right. In order to pose in front of judges, to put your muscles on display, we use something called isometric contraction. What a bodybuilder on stage is trying to do is to show his physique um, at his best in each and every pose. In order to do that, um, a bodybuilder may have to contract every muscle um, in his body. This is the third set. All right. And it can be very difficult to think about, well, I gotta flex all the muscles of my body that are at least in viewership of the judges from this particular angle. That doesn't make sense. I, I, I would probably pass out at the thought of it. Your pants up. See, the crotch is too low. Oh, okay. That means you can't open your legs. I got you. None of that. None of that hip hop shit here, dog. Pull your pants up. Let's go. Hi, 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 hi. You lean them up. Hi. Need range of motion. Need a place to go. Okay. There you go. All right. Now sit down. Let's get it. All right. Glutes are responsible for pelvic flexion. Flex your glutes. Wide as you can. Wider. 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 Let's go. Yep. Let's go. And you know, I'm just going, just trying to eke out the reps and you know, Kai's, is, Kai's in the back of my ear, just come on, let's go, let's go. And he's just like, 
his face and it's just intensity in his face. It's just like, okay, like I've got to move this weight until I can't move it anymore. And when I can't move it, put it down. There's a certain level of intensity that you need to move up. And it's, it has to be there. And for some people, either they have it or they don't have it. I think when I saw Kai that day, it made me realize like, okay, I realize what this means so to have that level of intensity. Okay. So you gotta move your toes out the way, which means you're gonna have to curl your foot under. Flexion on your ankle joint is gonna allow you a better range of motion. Oh. So try to touch the floor with your heel. Okay. Dig through the air with your heel. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Stuff with your head, don't do that. But just concentrate, focus, level your body, straighten your body out. Whenever you start doing a movement, you start that means your concentration is breaking down. You're oh. setting yourself up to get hurt. Though it may seem at first glance like Kai is just getting into some of the machines backwards, these movements are very well thought out. It must be noted that specialized posing training like this is to be done in addition to your regular muscle building routine. The object of this training is to reinforce the connections between muscle groups that come into play during the mandatory poses. The preparation for this begins at the floor, Kai explains. Right here? Okay. Bodybuilders, while in competition, have developed a, uh, a way of developing a checklist. And that checklist is to start, take your mind, and you start by contracting your muscles from the floor up. In order to do that, though, you turn the sole of your foot almost into fingertips. And you're feeling the floor beneath you, and by being able to do that, you're able to now make decisions about how to um, aid yourself, your body, in finding balance in order to distribute your body weight better so you can hit a pose better. It's on the eat. So what do all of these exercises have to do with posing? Well, much like a musician practicing scales, these repetitive movements create neural pathways, mind to muscle connection that Kai often talks about. In order to be able to connect with your muscles, you need to be able to have a very sharp mind to muscle relationship. Okay. Um, the more you beat and bludgeon or create stimuli sent to these muscles, the more a beaten path you create. You know, by you being able to have that beaten path to those muscles, now when you're on stage, that's what you're pulling from to flex them and hold them under contraction. 
isometric tension while the audience and the judges are viewing you on stage. Body parts that you're not able to contract like that, you're not able to quite make the connections as sharp, you know, will be visible on stage. They'll look like they're not responsive. Someone may say, flex your abs. In your mind, you may say, I am flexing them, aren't I? Mm -hmm. But by having a really sharp mind and muscle connection with your mind and your abs, no one needs to tell you that. You know how to do it. You blow down and contract, it's there. You think it and it happens. You think it and it happens. What you're trying to do is contract your muscles against the resistance. You know, by contracting your muscles against greater amounts of resistance is how you're able to stimulate muscular hypertrophy. But the primary goal isn't to move weight as much as the primary goal is to contract muscle. But you'll see when you start posing, to pose more efficiently to display the muscle you have, it'll go back to the same things that we just did in there. It was tough. I mean, the whole workout, I just, I felt like I was going to vomit. The entire work, it was, it was bad. Like, I, I remember getting there and I'm thinking, oh, okay, this isn't going to be bad. You know, he's, he's getting ready for the Arnold Classic. He's tired. You know, we're, this is going to be short. We're going to be out of here. I remember finishing lower body and thinking we were done. And then we're in the locker room and I'm thinking, oh, this is great. You know, I can, I can eat and relax and go home. He's like, no, we have to train upper body now. And I'm just like... Not again. <laughs> I don't want to do this again. Kai Green Redemption is made possible by MuscleMed, the makers of Code Red. Code Red combines a clinically proven dosage of the pharmaceutically modified compound glycocarn with powerful anabolic agents, ergogenic optimizers, and ROS neutralizers to make the most scientifically superior bodybuilding supplement you can buy. Before you step into the gym, prepare your body for the best workout ever with Code Red. Code Red and a full line of MuscleMed supplements are available now at the bodybuilding.com store. Coming up, the conclusion of the posing workout. Why do you get the muscle now? Yeah, you need a little water. We listen to what bodybuilding fans have to say about Kai's impact on the sport and learn a bit more about the origin of his philosophy of positive thinking. It may require some work on your part to understand it. And witness a brutal leg training session as the Arnold Classic approaches. Next week on Kai Green Redemption. <laughs>